Hello everybody, this is Jonathan Bates with Food Forest Farm. I'm in Brooktondale, New York on a beautiful morning, middle of June, right around the summer solstice and wanted to share with you some work I'm doing here on about uh, just under an acre, about a half acre of uh, beds. You can see them there, the brown strips, they've been uh, plowed and uh, used a spring furrow to knock down the chunks and then did some mineralization and some cover crops, 11 species cover crop. And I wanted just to highlight here, there's eight rows about 150 feet long and I'll go down a row here to show some things that I'm noticing. Uh, I could have guessed before I started, but one thing that's happening is it's been 24 hours since I put down the cover crop, and already I'm seeing uh, deer activity. There's a deer print, and there's the next one. You can see the hooves right there, and there's the next one. So the deer found my cover crop already. It's not even up yet. Another thing I'm noticing is uh, in this in this uh, deer print you can see the slugs or the snails. There's thousands of them this year because it's been so wet. So when these cover crops start to sprout, and some of them are already after a good rain yesterday, you can see here. Uh, let's see if I can see it on the screen. This is maybe some sorghum. Or maybe actually it's probably some kind of uh, mustard already sprouting after 24 hours, maybe 36 hours. And these uh, snails are probably going to get a chunk of the cover crop. Here's a bean. It's already sprouting. Wow, it's fast. I did soak them before I put them down for uh, 10 minutes or something. You can see there where the sprout's coming out. This is a uh, cow pea, which is actually a bean. I'll stick that in there. Um, the other thing that I'm noticing is uh, there's some red-winged blackbirds in the neighborhood. They're, they're kind of, um, I don't know, blackbird, cowbird. They're beautiful, they have a beautiful song, they have a beautiful red wing. But I'm noticing they're, they've also found the seed. So what I'm gonna try to do today is I didn't have this in the plan, but I'm going to probably have to if I'm going to save some of these seeds, at least from the birds, is uh, we did some mowing. There was some mowing done up by the solar panels, and so I'm just going to go get some of this mulch and uh, do some mulching over the seeds. You can see them down in there. There's some seeds. Hopefully the, the birds will be a little bit less tempted with a little bit of mulch on there, should be more. Um, so that's, uh, so this is, um, this project I've talked about in another video, I showed the design for a, uh, eventually gonna hopefully be about five acre black locust uh, woodlot with some mixed nut trees, chestnut, hazelnut, hickory, um, walnut, both English walnut and black walnut. And so these are four foot rows, 18 feet on center. So from here to here is 18 feet. And the reason is, is because our mowing equipment will go down one side of the grass, the hay area, and down the other. It's about a seven foot wide machine, cutting machine. So seven feet cutting, another seven foot cutting. And the idea is, Assuming we get some things planted here next year, some trees after the cover crop goes through a cycle, we'll just be mowing and tossing the hay onto the beds as the trees are growing as a mulch. That's the goal. Jonathan Bates, Food Forest Farm. This is a, uh, we're calling it a carbon, carbon farming project plot. And hopefully I'll uh, do some more updates as things progress. Have a good day.